In the last part you saw that Zero promises Yuki that now he will try to live his life. If you have not seen the previous part then the link is given in the description. Now continue. Yuki goes to target practice with Zero, where Zero praises the taste of Yuki's blood, hearing which Yuki runs away. Yuki comes home and lies down on the couch, then the incident from her childhood starts troubling her. Yuki remembers that after saving her life, Kenin brought her to the principal. Yuki was very scared of vampires so Kenin leaves from there. Then every day Yuki stands at the window and waits for Kanaim. So the principal calls Kanaim home. Yuki sees him and starts getting ready. When Kanaim starts to leave, Yuki stops him. Next day Yuki waits for Kanaim outside. When he arrives, Yuki hugs him. Yuki starts liking Kanaim so much that she goes to the city to wait for him. And as soon as she sees him, she hugs him. Then one day the principal brings Zero home. Zero scratches his neck where he was bitten by a vampire, but Yuki stops him from doing so. Then one day Kenin comes to meet Yuri. Seeing him, Zero picks up a knife from the table and tries to kill Kenin. But Kenin snatches the knife from Zero and throws it away. Then one day the principal tells them he is starting a school for vampires. Zero becomes very sad to hear about vampires. Then the next day Yuki and Zero come near the vampire's dormitory. Yuki goes inside it where she finds Ichijo, and he sends her outside. Yuki goes inside again and lies down on the stairs. Then Kanin comes there and takes Yuki to sleep in his room. Then Yuki peeks outside the room. There Kanin is sucking the blood of a vampire student. Seeing this form of Kanin, Yuki runs away in fear. Even after coming out, her hand keeps shaking. Then Zero comes to meet Yuki in her room. He feels tempted after seeing Yuki's neck, but he controls himself. Then Kanin comes there to call him outside. Outside Kanin gives Zero the responsibility of protecting Yuki so he is not killing him. The next day, Zero is in the bathroom thinking about what Kanin said, when Yuki comes there. Zero warns Yuki Kenaim may have bad intentions, but Yuki will not allow anyone else to drink her blood. Hearing this, Zero pushes Yuki against the wall, but when Yuki starts trembling, Zero releases her. Yuki gets angry and leaves from there. After this the principal gives Zero a letter from the Hunter Society, in which he is ordered to kill a level E serial killer vampire. When Zero is going to hunt the vampire, Yuki follows him. Zero goes inside a ruined house, then two night-class vampires come there. Outside they find Yuki, who runs inside alone to find Zero. But Yuki is thrown to the ground by the E-level vampire. Then Zero reaches there, and he kills the vampire with his gun. Outside, a red-eyed crow is watching Yuki and Zero, then the crow tells everything to a purple-haired vampire. The next day, the principal gives Yuki the responsibility of showing a new transfer student around the school. Then that vampire transfer student Maria walks in. Yuki gives her a tour of the school. After that Maria comes to the night class, then she comes near Kanaim and starts caressing his hand. This causes all the vampires to stare at Maria, so she walks out of the class. Outside Zero and Yuki are talking to each other when Maria comes there. Zero immediately points his gun at Maria but Yuki stops Zero. Zero puts the gun back then Maria leaves from there. When Toga comes to teach the night class, he keeps staring at Maria. Zero also keeps watching Maria from outside. Then later Maria meets Kanaim. She asks his permission to stay in the old dorm of the night class. Surprisingly Kanaim gives her the permission. Then the next day Maria goes to the day class. Yuki tries to stop her but Zero stops her. He warns her to stay away from Maria. Suddenly Edo comes there and hugs Yuki. Then Zero and Edo leave from there to talk privately. Zero suspects that Maria is Shizuka who destroyed his family years ago. Then Zero feels that Maria is watching him from the window. Maria runs away from there. When the night class starts in the evening, Maria tries to touch Yuki but Zero pulls her back. Zero leaves telling Yuki to stay away from Maria. After this Yuki and Zero start studying for tomorrow's exam. When Yuki was going to the kitchen, Zero came close to her. 
Yuki asks Zero to drink her blood but Zero leaves from there. Yuki goes after Zero. Zero goes to meet with Maria and aims the gun to kill her, but Zero's hands begin to tremble. Maria starts telling Zero about her true identity, and Yuki listens to their conversation from outside. Then Zero's brother Chira gives a sword to Maria, with which Maria attacks Zero and injures him badly. Then Kaname erases Yuki's memory so that Yuki doesn't remember anything about that night. Next day, Zero does not come to school to give exams. After the exam, Kenin comes to meet Yuki and he asks Yuki to dance with him at the upcoming ball. When Yuki is unable to answer, Kenin leaves from there. Then later Maria comes to meet Yuki, and Yuki remembers what happened last night. Yuki asks Maria about Zero. Maria asks Yuki to kill Kenin to save Zero's life. Elsewhere, Zero is thinking about his brother Achiru. Both the brothers are talking and then their eyes fall on Shizuka standing nearby. Zero feels something is wrong and they head for the home. Both the brothers come home and sleep together. The next night when Zero looks outside the house, Shizuka is standing in front of him. Shizuka grabs Zero and takes him out of the house, then she bites his neck and starts sucking his blood. Shizuka kills Zero's parents but doesn't do anything to Ichiru. Then Zero's eyes open and Ichiru is standing in front of him. Ichiru hates Zero because he was always better than him so he wants to kill him with his own hands. Ichiru attacks Zero but Zero blocks his attacks. Then suddenly Zero becomes weak and sits on the ground. As Ichiru goes to leave the room Toga comes there. Toga goes near Zero then Ichiru attacks Toga with the sword but Zero blocks the attack. The sword flies in the air and is about to hit Ichiru but Toga saves him. Then Ichiru unconcerned for him, picks up the sword and leaves from there. Zero brings Toga to the principal. Then Zero starts looking for Maria in the school. Yuki comes after him then she asks Zero to suck her blood. Zero immediately pins Yuki against the wall and starts sucking her blood. Then on the day of the ball, Kenim sends Yuki a dress. Then Yuki and Zero arrive at the dance hall. Yuki comes to the rooftop to meet Kenim. Kanin takes Yuki's hand and starts dancing with her, then he pulls Yuki into his arms. But Yuki could not kill him so she ran away from Kanin. Zero also goes after Yuki. Yuki comes to meet Maria. Maria holds Yuki's hand and throws her on the chair. Then Ichiro brings Maria's real body Shizuka there. Zero has to drink Shizuka's blood to save his life. Shizuka then comes back to her real body. She then tries to suck the blood from Yuki's neck but Zero stops her. Shizuka then orders Zero to capture Yuki and Zero follows the orders because he is her blood slave. After this Shizuka starts sucking blood from Zero's neck. But when Shizuka is about to suck Yuki's blood, Zero grabs her neck. Then he comes out of Shizuka's control by shooting himself in the leg. Zero fires a lot of bullets at Shizuka, which injures Shizuka's body. Then Ichiru throws his sword at Zero. Shizuka escapes from there and Ichiru stops them from going after her. Shizuka comes to her room, where Kanem is waiting for her. Kanem holds Shizuka from behind and starts sucking her blood. After this Kanem kills Shizuka. Then Ichiru feels something is wrong and he runs to see Shizuka but she is lying there dead. Zero follows Ichiru and starts craving for blood but Shizuka's body vanishes in air. Then Ichiru also leaves from there. When Yuki reaches there, she doesn't find Zero there. The principal informs her Zero has been sent to Hunter Society Hospital for treatment. After a few days the principal comes to meet Zero but Zero was fast becoming a level E vampire. Then after hearing some noise, both of them go outside to check. Suddenly Kenem appears there. He shows Zero his blood, but Zero removes his hand. Then Kenim forces him to drink his blood and Zero starts sucking his blood. Will sucking Kanemi's pure noble blood save Zero's life? If you also want to know this then do not forget to watch the next part of the video. Like the video, share it and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching the video.